He sold a baby bottle full of horse semen. And more importantly, you bought it for a good cause because you give a crap. And so does he. It's Mike Rowe. You don't need a compass and you don't need a map. Just pull out your wallet and purchase some crap. Well, thank you, everyone. And it's true. Uh, we're here once again uh, to ask the uh, immortal questions to the interwebs. Who gives a crap? I hope the answer is you. Speaking of you, I'm me, Mike Rowe, and you're Chuck. I am. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well, man. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Better. You know why? Okay. Because my colon is healthy. Yes, it is. And we're going to talk about colons today, aren't we? <laughs> of course we are. It's a why show called we? Crap. How's your colon, by the way? Fantastic. It sounds apropos of nothing, but uh, in fact it's not because we are going to auction a colon uh, to help raise money for work ethic scholarships today. Not just any colon, a colon that was presented to me uh, in season one of Somebody's Got to Do It by a most unusual woman named Anna. Before I show you the colon, um, I want to show you Anna and a, and a fun little show that she does that more people need to watch. It's called uh, The Curator's Desk. And I did a couple episodes <laughs> with her. That's us right there, sitting down and talking. This, listen to how charming Anna is. What is your show called again? This is called Guess What's on the Curator's Desk. Who came up with that title? I did. Because and you're guessing what's, this is my desk, and you're guessing what's on my desk. See, we could probably learn something from watching a production like that. We probably could. Simple, uh, minimalistic, uh, yet uh, you know, utterly honest and transparent. What she got that we don't have? She was an adorable <laughs> camera woman. Oh, Whoa. With respect. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, come on. With, oh. with, Whoa. with respect. All right. Can you turn that off? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> Honestly. So your standards for audio are actually higher than ours now. <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. For our purposes, it's environmental and it's appropriate. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Lindsay's like, yeah, whatever, CNN. Uh, on my show, a slightly higher standard. Anyway, uh, Anna Doty is a remarkable woman who is in charge of the Mütter Museum in Philadelphia, and it is an homage uh, to, to medical science. But with a slant toward the odd. Except it actually is a very serious place. It's part of the uh, Philadelphia uh, Museum of Medicine, I think. When somebody's got to do it, went to the Mütter Museum. Uh, we saw many things, uh, among them a giant colon. Chuck, when I tell you, the colon was this big, mm -hmm. as big as my desk, and looped around again. I mean, it was enormous, and it came out of you know, a regular person. And they have the actual colon there in the Mütter Museum. That is fascinating. And I was so taken with not only the size of the colon, but the fact that it actually existed and was on display, that Anna uh, gave me today's piece of crap. Hello, <laughs> I'm a colon. It's, a, I mean, I think, I think it's this thing, right? <laughs> for, for travel. At least that's what I've used it for. And I've only used it once. <laughs> I flew back from uh, Philadelphia to San Francisco and I had this colon around my neck the whole time and I have to say it was a pleasant way to pass the time they sell these of course in airport terminals not these no they sell probably these. but this is no. to my knowledge there's only one place in the world to get a plush colon there's only one place you can get a plushy mega colon and next time you travel across the country or get on a plane or a train or maybe you're just just in your car you know yeah, yeah. not while you're driving of course no it would look weird right just like that yeah why don't you sell it Mike can I get a graphic, Taylor? Hi, everybody. Today on Crap, for your careful consideration, it's a colon. Not just any colon. A colon shaped just like the largest colon in the world, which you can see in Philadelphia next time you go to check out the Mütter Museum. I think you should have it because every dime you spend on it goes to the MicroWorks Foundation to help bolster our work ethic scholarship program. The plush colon works like this. It really is a combination of form, and function from an artistic standpoint, but check out the utilitarian value. Round your neck it goes, just like that you're sound asleep with your big giant noggin nuzzled firmly against the soft squishiness of the colon's hey, cut it out. You're squeezing me. noggin. Just like that. Now your plush colon might not talk to you, but if it did it would say things like this. Oh geez, you're, come on, get that big head off of me man. I'm only made of plush, you're crushing me. It goes to the highest bidder. We're taking bids right now. All the information you need is on the screen. It comes along with an autographed uh, headshot of my own colon. Not really, just an autographed headshot of me. Chuck, final thoughts? <laughs> I, I don't, 
I, mean, I don't have. Oh, oh, oh. I need to get close up. Yep, you need to, now she yeah. needs to get B-roll. <laughs> I, why, I can't we, like why can't we shoot a show like this, guys? <laughs> why, why can't we do this? We are why, like why can't on the top it be this of our simple? game. I love what they're doing here in the basement of the Modern Museum. I love it. <laughs>